Come on, Jason, put your back into it. Shall I nip to the shop and get him a tub of elbow grease? I didn't think the Queen was coming. Uh, the Queen's already here, thank you very much. I'm missing out on a day's pay for this. Todd owes me a few beers, I'll tell you that. I'm missing out on a day's pay for this. Uh, I've given up my lunch hour and all, Eileen. Remind me again. How many GCSEs did Todd get? Nine, Sean, nine. Three, Three A's. A's. Two A stars, stands. if you please, which is why he is a highly qualified legal professional. <laughs> the boy's a genius. Remind me again, how many do you get, Jay Boy? Oh, shut up, shut up. Oh, that's right, you got two. And one of those was in woodwork, if I remember rightly. Yeah, well, there's no wrong with getting your hands dirty, mate. Less gassing, more cleaning, because he's going to be here in a minute. <laughs> and a sandwich to go with. I've given you an extra dollar for piccolilla because I know you love it. Thank you. I can't stop. Oh, right, you're working like a madman. You need nourishment. You've left the cafe unattended. No, we haven't. Mary's come in, remember? Huh. Do you not think you might take it a bit too much on? <laughs> I'm sure that Ailey would prefer you by her side at hospital rather than slaving away in here. I have to have this finished by the time she returns home on Friday. Well, there's still an awful lot to do. I'm sure she'll understand if it's a work in progress. These four walls, there'll be a whole world for goodness knows how long. It must be right. It must be right. Come on, girl, stop dawdling. She shouldn't board you around like that. She's not your mum. Stupid cow. <laughs> We're gonna wait for school if we do this now. It's not a big deal. Hey, that's the cheek. No, they're right. We should apologise. Hi, Nick. Um, these two little madams have got something to say to you. Sorry, we shouldn't have been mean to you. We were just overexcited because of the party and everything. Fair enough. I think it was all the E numbers in the pop it made us all weird. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, I'm fine now. Really. Right then. Bye, Nick. Bye. Take good care of yourself. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? That man is such a loser. Have you got your maths book? You're not off out tonight, are you? I've got no plans, why? I thought we could have a quiet night in, just the two of us. She wants them all to herself. You know, I wouldn't have that. It's not fair on you, is it? Dad, can me and Grace come and hang out with you and Sally after school? Uh, sorry, love, I'll be at work. I hardly ever see you these days. Well, I could always finish work early, if you like. I wouldn't want a button or anything. Button in, you know you're always welcome. No, I'll make us some tea and stick a DVD on. I used to love having girly nights with my two. Great, sorted. Now, come on, school. See you later. Cheers, Sally Star. Sally's so smug, it makes me sick. Tell me about it. You should show her that you're the most important person in your dad's life, not her. I mean, I can have whatever I want at the bistro, but sometimes you do need a break from fine dining. Tomato sauce or brown? A bit of both. I'll push the boat out. Look, I know you're excited to see him, and I am, come to think of it. I'm not being funny, but he's not even a big eater. These bags weigh an absolute ton. My fingers have turned actual blue. Oh. Look, it's all right for you sighing, but these fingers are my fortune. Oh, do you know, you've whinged all the way home. Do you know, you do somebody a favour and look what you get. What's this, Eileen? Fading the 5,000? No, um, Todd's coming back to stay. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, he doesn't get much time off, bless him. You know, the law firm that he works for, they'll struggle without him. I'm surprised that London doesn't grind to a halt. All right, I'm just saying that he has a lot of responsibility, that's all I'm saying. Now is the lovely Sarah Lou. Well, she's very well, actually. She bought a new car last week. Dove Grey, it's very classy. So you keep in touch then? Oh, yes, I write at least once a fortnight. I, I know it's old-fashioned, but I think it's nice. I break open the Basildon bond and I'm away. I bet she looks forward to your letters. Well, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but well, I do have an amusing turn of phrase when I put my mind to it. Have you told them about the latest instalment, you know, the Kylie David stroke Nick? People in glass houses, Eileen? 
I'll get it. I'll get it. No, I said I'll get it. Are you sure you want to sign up for this? It'd be like living with a bad-tempered geriatric. What is it they say? Change is as good as a rest. Seriously? Come on, Grandad, get a wiggle on. No, I think we have to face it. You know, my cartwheelie days might be over. Nick, look, you don't get any guarantees in this life for anything. I love you, and I'm willing to take my chances. What about Simon? He's been taken away from his home, away from you because of me. Well, it's, it's temporary. He'll be fine. Right then. Can you uh, walk to the flat, or shall I stick with a wheelbarrow? Ah, huh? wheelbarrow might not be a bad idea. Do you want a hand carrying your store? Haven't you done enough? Look, I know you're still angry with me. Mm, that gets past you, does it? But we live around the corner from each other. We're part of the same family. And? Well, we're going to have to find a way to move on from it. Oh, just get out of my face, Kylie. I just think we need to take one step at a time. Here we are. No sign of that wheelbarrow you promised me. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah? Can you tell me where the Grimshaws live? Yeah, it's, uh... It's hey, just over there, number 11. Thanks. Hey, it doesn't matter. Listen, I think you're just going back to work too soon. Come on, it's only a few hours. Yeah, I know, but still. What? You worried I'll forget where the bar is? I should have made a welcome home cake. Oh, no, Eileen, don't bother. Todd paid quite a lot of money for those teeth. <laughs> I'm only saying that your cakes can like be... Like concrete uh, and harder. Excuse me, you're only saying it because you're both jealous. <laughs> Look, I know she's getting on your nerves, but she's just really chuffed. He shows up here once in a blue moon and she rolls out of the red carpet. Oh, I know it's tough on you, babes. What be top being the whoever one with his big fancy career? <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm the good-looking one that counts for something. What? You think he's better looking than me? Seriously? Seriously? Hmm? Mm. And on that bombshell, work. <laughs> Shut up. Chuck a sickie. I can't. Listen, tell Todd I'll see him in the Rovers. I'll be slaving away behind the bar, but I'll be able to have a right old gas with him on my break. Uh, and don't go standing on my step. What? I've just scrubbed it. I don't want your dirty footprints on it. Unbelievable. <sighs> right, Jace, do me a favour. I know. Build a helipad in the backyard so Todd can land his cop today. Ha, ha, ha. No, just put some clean towels in the bathroom for him. Oh, he's early. Oh. Oh, no time to hang your bunting out. Shame. Oh, 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 sorry. I thought you were... Where is he? Who are you talking about? Uh, what? Todd. What are you doing? Todd, where is he? I need to speak to him. Well, if you ask me, something's dead wrong. The poor man's frantic. Uh, who wouldn't be under the circumstances? No, I reckon there's more to it than that. Oh, dear. Like what? Well, them two have not been the same since they fell out. There's something they're not telling us. Oh, oh come here, you. You look like no-one owns you. Sorry? You got a piece of paper stuck to your back. Oh. You off to the hospital? Not today. I, I went to see her yesterday. Such long days stuck in a place like that. First the boredom, then the ennui sets in. The what? Maybe I should take some more books. How did she get on with the gentle rogue? I, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> oh, that sounds intriguing. What's it about? Oh, it's a bodice ripper. Full of thrills, spills and downright school duggery. Can I borrow it? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Emily's next on the list. Yeah. You can have it after her. Ah. Hayley will be fine. She has her audio books to keep her occupied. Now, I have to go out to buy paint and wallpaper. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't you write me a list, eh, and I'll get it for you. Then you can spend some time with Hayley at the hospital. No, thank you. That won't be necessary. What can I get you? Um, all day breakfast, please. Love with a bit of fried bread on the side. You busy? I'm ticking over, you know. You're a dab and aren't you, with the old painting and decorating? Yeah, I am as it goes. Your place would look really nice if it brightened up a bit. Charming. What? Put my foot in it? No, I've actually been pecking Owen's head and about it for months, but it's not me that needs your help. It's, it's Rob. Uh, no, no, thank you. But Ryan, mm -hmm. you said you wanted to get it finished before she got home. You can't just barge 
in here just shouting and kicking off. I'm not leaving till I've spoken to him. We've already told you he's not here. He must be. He's got nowhere else to go. Burn his bridges. Uh, excuse me, what does that mean? I bet he's upstairs. He is, isn't he? Hey, well, oh. you need to calm down, mate. Look how many times he is not here. Oh, you would say that. Who well, are you again? I'm Alex. He must have mentioned me. <laughs> Don't think so, love. Yeah, never heard of you. So much for being the love of his life. Typical Todd. Such a liar. We were only together for a few months. But it was amazing, you know? I thought he was with Jules. Well, they split up a while back. We never said out. We were supposed to be going to New York. I waited like an idiot. Gate 12, case packed, everything booked and paid for. I even gave him some spending money, help him out. I waited and waited, phoning, texting, scared witless, something terrible must have happened. An accident, something. The flight left. I went home, phoned around the hospitals. When was this? Friday. You know something? Nothing. It's all news to me. Please carry on. And then I get a text. He's dumped me. No apologies, no explanations, nothing. Shabby. I've left like a million messages. Contacted just about everyone in his address book. Uh, this is the only place left. I want my money back. But most of all, I want to know why. How could he treat me like that when he said he loved me? He's making a right pig's ear of it. I always thought that pig's ears are rather lovely. The little tuft at the... But yes, you're right. He hasn't a hope of finishing it by Friday. I can't bear to think of Ailey spending her last days up there in a bedroom that looks like a bomb's hit it. We have to help him, whether he likes it or not. Why don't you nip up there, eh, while he's out? Do a bit of clearing up. Oh, no. That flat is hallowed ground to Roy. He won't want me poking around willy-nilly. I think you should do it. Me? <laughs> do you want me to get sacked? No, he likes you. He likes you? We'll just pop up there and put all the rubbish in bin bags. No, but you know what he's like? Private to a fault. But things have changed. Normal rules don't apply. I shall fall upon my sword. Oh, no, Mary, I think we should leave him to I'm helping. He'll be pleased. Once more onto the breach, dear friends. Oh, no, no, no. Are you sure about this? Into the valley of death. Road the 600. So, where did you meet? At work. Both law clerks working for the same boss. Right. And when he got sacked, I said he could move in with me. Sacked? Take it he's not told you that either. Sacked? Never, never. Why? Put it this way. No one would accuse him of being dynamic. What do you mean by that? He's lazy, selfish, and he's a world-class liar. No, 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 I'm not having that. Our Todd is not a liar. Uh, you don't seem to know much about our oh, Todd, now, just do you? a minute, love. Uh, half of our defendants are liars, but they've got nothing on him. You need to do one, mate. You can't just sit there slagging him off when he's not here to defend himself. Yeah, Jason's right. I'm not having this. Just get out of the house. I can't believe I've ended up a single mum again. I'm me only two kids. Best late schemes of mice and men, something, something, go awry. Anyway, you're not on your own. You've got me. Well, you've got your own life to live. I know it's not easy. I've got a fine work, Gail. I can't keep sponging off people forever. We're getting by. I know. Look at Nick and Leanne. They're getting their life sorted. It's about time I did the same. Probably do you the world of good getting back out there. Tell me about it. I mean, look at me. This is probably going to be the highlight of my week. <laughs> Sitting in a greasy spoon. Mug of tea and a Eccles kick. Flipping granny food. No offence. Oh, I want to go back to work. I want to get dressed up, put my slap on. Talk to people that are going to talk back to me. Well, I suppose there are only so many times you can sing the wheels on the bus without going do lally. 
You know, Leanne won't have me back at the bistro. She hates me good. You can be very persuasive. Why don't you wear her down? Speak of the devil. Why don't you ask her, eh? Strike while the iron's hot? Mm, I don't know. Don't ask, you don't get. Have you got a minute? Not really. Look, I know you're still angry. Oh, cut to the chase. Well, I'll go back to work. Yeah, well, good luck with that one. I'm sure Nick will give you a reference. No, you know what I mean. I, I want my job back at the bistro. Says the dirty little slag who slept with me has been no chance. Someone's been a naughty boy. Is that funny? Sorry, Mum, I was only saying. <sighs> Do you know, I brought you both up to be decent and honest. I don't care what Alex said. Todd's not a liar. Well, it's obvious he tells us nothing. I mean, I can't believe he's been Jules. They got on well together. I thought they were sound. I'm down for wedding bells. Yeah. And I can't believe he's been sacked. He'd tell us. He would. Well, it doesn't make any sense. Why would Alex come all the way from London to tell us a pack of lies? I know, but I know my son. And I know there'll be an explanation for all of this. Look at you! It looks like you bought the shop. You should let me come with you. Here, give it here. What are you doing? Sorry, I just thought... No, we just thought that we would just save you some time. The place was rather chaotic. That is mine and Haley's private space. This is the second time I've had to tell you. Sorry. Oh, Robbie, we were only trying to help. I didn't ask for help. Well, no, but... Uh, I'm sorry. I, I honestly am. I just thought that we... Hi, girls. Come in. I've got a right treat for you two. Dirty Dancing is the best film ever. Wow, is it an antique? Well, it's a classic, that's what it is. Is it like Strictly? Oh, better, honestly. It's got some great one-lines in it. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Well, you'll understand when we get to that bit. Oh, what's wrong? Well, now come to think of it, some of the dance moves were a bit suggestive. I'm not sure you're ready for male buttocks. <laughs> So, I'm sorry, girls. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but on balance, I, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh. Never mind. I've got Spice World up in the loft. Spice up your life! Oh, brilliant. We could close the curtains and have drinks and sweets like we're in the cinema. Yeah, I'm not sure what I've got in. I think I might have a packet of Twiglets that I was saving for Christmas, but we could go mad and have them now. No, they're a bit of an adult snack, aren't they? Well... Maybe you can nip up to the shop and... Oh, so, sorry, I shouldn't ask. It's cheeky. No, no, you're right. Oh, thanks. Oh, you're so cool, Sally. I wish my mum was like you. Oh. <laughs> right, I won't be long. He's late. Maybe he jibbed us. Decided not to come. Mm. He'll be here. Only you could do that, eh? Turn up on cue. So, Mum, what are you going to say? Are you going to tell him Alex turned up? No, I'm not. And you, keep it short. Why? How come? Because if it's kicked off, Todd can tell me about it. I want to hear his version of what happened. Hey, give us your bag. <laughs> Mum's so good to see you. I've missed you. I've missed you, darling. Oh. You all right, little bro? How's it hanging? Hey, good. Yeah. Okay. So, what's new? Nothing. Same old, same old. You know how it is? <laughs> oh, Tim, baby, come here and snog my face off. <laughs> Ew, gross. She pretends she likes us, but really, she wants us out the way. I know. She wants teaching a lesson. But what are you doing? Give it back. Grace! <laughs> Stop it. My dad's at work. Stop it, you nutter. Leave him a message and tell him we're on our own and someone's trying to break in. I can't do that. Go on, it'll be a laugh, I dare you. Hiya, it's Tim. Leave a message and I'll call you back. Cheers. Dad, it's me. Sally's left us on our own. It's just that someone's trying to break in and we're really scared. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come in? Not gonna bite my head off and all, are you? What is it? Oh, you were very harsh with Mary then. She meant well. 
Right. What's the matter, Roy? I know you and I know something's up. It's complicated. Would well, you know what? Try me, because I'm not as thick as a look. Will you let people help you? You've got loads of friends around here. You only have to ask. The point is, you don't have to cope alone. But I do. Some burdens cannot be shared. Oh, love. What's wrong, Roy? Right, I'm not leaving this flat until you tell me what's up. Sure you don't want a premium lager? Sean and I nearly broke our arms carrying them out. <laughs> Later, maybe. She picked some specially paid over the odds. No, I'm good. It's her. Do you want to go up and get settled? Jace will sort my bags out, won't you? Yeah, I'll um, peel your grate while I'm at it, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've heard all our news, so um, how about you? Nothing to tell. And Jules is fine, yeah? Just, you've not mentioned He's fine, yeah. Oh, should have brought him up with you. Well, he wanted to come with me, but um, he snowed under at work. Oh, that's a shame. Next time, eh? Mm. And um, work-wise? Yeah, it's all good. They're OK about you having time off. <laughs> We've got to let me have a holiday sometime and run ragged. I'll tell you the truth, I'm knackered. You mind if I get a bath? Well, he is definitely not himself. Face it, Mum. He's lying to us. Well, we're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.